Hey guys, it's Munch! Welcome back to Pokemon Unbound! <laughs> what is this voice that I'm given? Munch! Last episode, tragedy struck. We are no longer in a zero deaths playthrough because this son of a ghost just had to trap G with its mean look and proceed to absolutely obliterate us with its hex. And for some reason, every time I have one death in a Nuzlocke, it's immediately followed by a couple more, so... In the very same battle, we also saw the tragic loss of Azula and Needle. The Maynectric and Skorupi, may they rest in wherever they are. But today, we turn things around, no more deaths, so munch that like button. As we continue our journey through Route 7, hopefully to the next gym. Islands end. Frost Mountain up ahead, Route 9 to the south. Not exactly sure where we're going, but let's first check out the Pokemon that have now joined the squad, replacing the fallen heroes. First up is Banana the Servine, who we happen to get on some random house. They just had the Unova starters as a gift, or well, one of them we had to choose. And I went with Snivy because I'm trying to redeem myself from a past Nuzlocke. Flame Wheel on Radata! I mean, this whole playthrough is kind of like my redemption arc. So joining Snivy, we've got Quacker, who now evolved into Swana. Of course, y'all know and love Boogie. Graveler, who still doesn't have a nickname, but you guys left a lot of interesting suggestions in the comments. So if I can find a name relearner, we're definitely going to nickname her. And then we've got Kimba the Lit Leo. I think I might have picked up a Firestone for him, actually. And finally, Popo the Clefairy, who's kind of behind on levels, but I feel like might actually be... The key to saving this playthrough is having a more tanky Pokemon. So with that squad, we're going to roll on south to Route 9. I don't actually know if that's the way we're supposed to go to the next gym. I'm guessing we're supposed to head up the Frost Mountain. I think I remember one of the professors or old guys in this game mentioning that. So already I'm off to a great start. We're going totally the wrong way. But hey, this girl's actually got a young goose, which is so awesome to see just Pokemon not originally on the 2D games. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, young goose, of course, being from Alola, has never had a 2D sprite. Uh, so it's cool to see those. Actually, Esper as well. I don't even know how I didn't mention Esper, considering it's like one of my favorites. Uh, but yeah, that also never had a sprite. And I'm glad it didn't, because that is freaking creepy. <laughs> I don't know if we actually encountered a Pokemon already in this route. Oh, well, I had a Repel going, so I'm going to guess that we probably did already get an encounter here, and so we can't catch anything new, but we can definitely keep fighting these trainers. I decided to switch up the party because Swana is getting pretty overleveled, and I don't want to end up hitting that cap again. It's time for a Bulldozing, and that should hopefully finish off both of them. Nice! So satisfying taking out two Pokemon in one move. I don't know what it is about it. I guess just seeing them both go down is, well, satisfying. Over here though, got a hiker talking about humidity. Man, do not tell me about humidity. It has been so freaking hot in Puerto Rico this last week. Or well, it's kind of on and off. Every day is a mystery in terms of how wet it's going to be. Thankfully, Karen actually bought us a dehumidifier, which I never knew existed as a kid. I guess my family just never thought to get one, or maybe because we were born here, they just dealt with it. Uh, but it definitely makes a difference, man. Like, the place feels so much uh, less stuffy, I guess is a good way to put it. Like, I definitely feel it the most when I, like, just showered and come out only to get sweaty, like, two steps out of the bathroom. It sucks. Other than that, though, not too bad this summer, at least in Puerto Rico. I've heard that it's so much worse back in the States, like Texas, where we recently left. Oh, man, it's been like 110s over there, I heard. Well, maybe not that high, but it's definitely been over the hundreds, which makes me definitely not regret moving here. Even though Puerto Rico stays hot throughout the year, it never really hits 100. It's definitely just the humidity that's kind of annoying. But hey, this guy actually has... A old rod, are you freaking serious, man? Here I was expecting at least a good rod, but no, he just gives us his dusty, dirty old rod, which I never want. Oh, hey, this lady heals us. Thank goodness, man, I could definitely use some healing. Banana took a beating in that last battle, but oh god, it's a bird tamer, and I've got Servine still leading the charge, which means that, yeah, I am not fighting this Doduo. I like that Pokeball, though. I just love how all the different types of trainers have their Pokemon in different balls. 
Uh, before we head into the mountain though, I believe I saw a, yes, karate kicker over here. Oh, this guy's name's Koichi. Is that a JoJo reference? Probably not, I'm sure that there's many Japanese men named Koichi. Who am I to assume that he is indeed named that because of JoJo? I mean, that would be very weird. All the way down this path though, we've got a TM-108. What the? How many TMs are there in this game that we're already at 108? And hey, I almost forgot that we actually got the ability to cut down trees now. Oh my goodness. What do we got here? A young goose. Well, if I hadn't caught a Pokemon in this route already, that would be cool. Well, not really. I'm not the biggest fan of Young Goose, especially its evolution. Always getting compared to that one dude. I went back to heal with the lady just to make sure we are topped off as we head into Frost Mountain. Ooh, what the? You, hold it right there. You're one of those Shadow Goons, aren't you? I recognize the symbol on your chest anywhere. You're gonna tell me what I want to know, or I'm gonna do to you what I did to those dumb goons back at you. Oh my god, that's some tough words, Scarlet. Is that really any way to talk to someone? Move aside. You should learn. Threats are only effective if you can follow through on them. What? You can't just pretend like you know me and treat me like I'm some kid. My Pokemon will beat you into a pulp. How old even is this kid? I don't know if I should call him a kid. Oh my... He's got an Alakazam! Oh no! I feel so bad for him all! That's enough, Alakazam! Return! Seems like Scarlet's definitely the fighting type, which means that Psychic was super effective. Dude's just knocked out cold. Before we go check up on him, though, gotta read all those trainer tips. You know, there's a quest after all. Oh, hey! Looks like we get our first encounter for this route here, and it's gonna be a Bronzor, which normally I'd be a little bit disappointed by, but, you know, I could use some more tanky Pokemon, and it's actually a Steel and Psychic type, which is exactly the same type as Metang, who... We lost last episode. I'm already making myself sad thinking about it. I don't know why I went for Leech Seed, by the way. I totally should have just... Oh, wait. I didn't buy Pokeballs. Well, at least we have a couple of Heal Balls left. I just don't know if this is actually going to work out. I mean, Bronzor is not the hardest Pokemon to catch out there. So, yes, it is going to work. And just in case I end up using it, I got a perfect nickname for you. It's going to be G2. Because, you know, he's like the successor of G. Ooh, I like the music in here. It's very calming. I keep forgetting that this game has a completely original soundtrack. Like, I'm pretty sure most tracks, if not all of them, are originals. That guy doesn't actually want to battle. He just wants to teach us about rock climb. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> Scarlet. Oh my gosh. What happened? My whole body aches. Well, that's why they invented Vicks Vapor Rub. Haven't you heard? This thing cures just about anything. Hmm? Orange, is that you? What brings you all the way out here? Wait, don't tell me. You came here looking for even more Pokemon. Well, that's what I've been doing anyway. As far as progress goes, I've registered over a... What? Have you heard of Log Sister? She lives in Blizzard City. And when she saw how my Pokedex was coming along, she upgraded it with the Dex Nav. So now, finding rare Pokemon has been a cinch. I see. You need the HM Rock Smash? And you've decided to have a bone to pick with the Shadows too, huh? Well, while you've been running around playing hero, I got a whole lot stronger. You don't stand a chance against me. In fact, I'll prove it right here, right now. Oh, boy. I should have seen this coming, but somehow I didn't because he was kind of on the floor, barely alive. So I thought maybe we got to slide on. Oh, my God, no. This is the worst matchup. And Bananas is... Why are you asleep? Well, thankfully, we've got Graveler, and I really hope... Okay, it's just Pluck. I feel like Toucanon can have some kind of uh, fighting-type move, but I guess he's just going to switch it out anyway and head into Gabite. Thank goodness I didn't go for Rollout, because then I'd be stuck using Rollout against this thing and probably dead. Maybe Boogie? We can just brute force our way through it. Oh, I totally should have gone into Swana, expecting... Uh, ground type move oh my god dude a crit and a speed drop now that is just silly at least we can get our fake out in not really do much damage but can we take another bulldoze i don't know this is kind of close i'm gonna risk it but i feel like this is really stupid oh god that only hits twice right every time okay <laughs> oh that could have been bad though if he like crit or something but yeah i think we need a heal now please tell me i bought healing items Oh, thank goodness. I only have two super potions, though. Oh, boy. 
I think we can big brain it. If we switch into Popo, expecting the dual chop, it'll have no effect on a fairy type. And then we double switch into Quacker, expecting a bulldoze. Oh, you went Metal Claw. I mean, that's still not very effective. So yeah, we're big braining it right now. I feel like he might switch though, maybe into two cannon again. Oh no, he's just gonna let Gabite go down. Okay, well, that's it for you. Even though I didn't want to rely on Quacker too much because I feel like we're gonna hit our level cap and I think we actually just did at 32, but everybody else is gonna get experience too, okay. I think literally my whole squad leveled up from that somehow. I just hope that this Toucanon doesn't have anything too surprising, like a Rock Blast I guess is the only thing I can think of that would probably kill Swana. Oh my god. Oh no, please only three times. Please only three times. Oh no. 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 Why? Do you have skill link, my guy? Do you? Oh no. Why? Why did I stay on Swana? Oh, I should have freaking known, man. What, you're gonna switch out again? Okay, no, it's going Rock Blast, which, yeah, Graveler could have easily tanked that up. Is it gonna hit five times again? Because if it does, then this thing definitely has Skill Link, or it's just getting insanely lucky. I honestly don't know, but it hit five times again, so I'm gonna have to assume that it does have Skill Link. And now you're going Fury Attack, which is going to hit five times. All right, come on. We get it. We get the gist. Oh my god, why did I click Rollout? Oh, thank goodness. I'm actually happy that it missed because if we were locked into Rollout and then his next Pokemon was like neutral or what's it called, resisted it, then yeah, that would have been bad. But come on, just get through these stupid... <sighs> I don't like moves that hit five times. Not because they hurt, but like because it's so annoying sitting there waiting for all five hits. But man, I cannot believe this. We lost our ace again. Our strongest Pokemon gets snuffed out out of nowhere. And now we got a swine up to deal with. I'm expecting a ground move, but we don't have Quacker anymore. Oh, Popo just avoids it anyway. Okay. Maybe we can try to sing it. And I don't even know, man. I just, I have to switch out and go into someone else. But what the frick? Come on, Popo. You just, you gotta hit the sing for me. Right here, right now. Oh my god. That could have been a crit, but hey, we sing it. That's great. Now, I still don't know how I'm gonna deal with it. Now, I just need you to stay asleep, you little swiney. Okay, that's one. Uh, do I just force palm it? Oh my god, it wakes up. No. Boogie, please survive it. Please. Oh, Boogie. Oh, Boogie, you're so good. You are the last remaining one out of the OGs. The second Pokemon we ever caught. Living with seven health, too. I think that's considered lucky, so... I'm gonna say Boogie. No, I'm not gonna say anything. I feel like I'm gonna jinx it if I say anything. So there we go. We beat Scarlet, but we lost our strongest Pokemon again. Looks like I still can't stand up to you. That's fine. It just means there's still a level of strength I can still reach, but I'll get there. I'm gonna be strong, stronger than anyone. Just wait until the next time, because you're going down for sure. Yeah, yeah. You, you sure talk a lot of smack, but... When it comes to delivering, I oh don't know, man. Now, unfortunately, we gotta put Swana in the PC, in the very special box that we've made here. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so sad to see. It's a reminder that we must do better. But who do we wanna add on to the team? I guess the highest level actually is G2, but I don't know why. I have a feeling that Ryo might be more useful and we don't have an electric type. I mean, we just lost to two cannons, so I feel like having something strong against flying would be good. Even though we also have Graveler, it's just that I suck at uh, strategizing sometimes, and yeah, that was not my proudest moment, I gotta say. A rare blue bird atop Mount Frost. Oh my god, are you talking about the legendary Ducklet? Speaking of Ducklet, I really miss it right now because we're against a Pig Knight, and Ducklet would have been perfect to handle it, but uh, now my only real shot is Graveler, and now we're slower because of that stupid- oh my god, we're, we're gonna die, aren't we? We're totally dead. If this thing hits five times again, okay, it only hits twice, and Bulldoze will knock down its speed at least to counteract that flame charge it just did, but I think we might still be slower than it because we're a freaking rock. I'm gonna just go Magnitude. Watch us miss the- oh my god, it might hit five times. Oh my- 
Dude, I don't know what else to do though. No, are you kidding me? Is this really happening? Come on. Come and a crit. And a crit too? Are you serious, dude? I literally have no other Pokemon that can take this thing. And we live. Oh no. I'm gonna have to go train, aren't I? Oh man, I've been dreading this moment. But that's how it goes in Nuzlocke. You gotta train sometimes. And you've also got a Servine. Oh, are you just gonna have the three Unova? Starters. Okay, well at least we've got something super effective against this one. I mean, we had something super effective against Pig Knight too, but it just had to arm thrust four times with a crit too. Like, I probably should have healed back to full, but I don't think it really would have helped. I mean, maybe I could have switched into Popo, but Popo's kind of low level. I guess the answer is I should have just trained Popo off screen so that it's actually helpful, but I didn't. So now we got Duat. Let's uh, switch it up. Tank that Razor Shell. Oh, what's that? A defense drop. I love to see that. Oh my god, I missed too? Gotta be kidding me, dude. Why are you peeing on me right now, Duat? What are you doing? <laughs> Weakening fire? Like, that's gonna help against a grass type? Okay. I've never really gotten water sport, to be honest. Like, the move? Why do water Pokemon need to weaken fire moves? Oh my god. You had Fury Cutter this whole time, but you just decided not to use it? Okay, well, whatever. Your loss, buddy. Or should I say my loss, because we just freaking lost another Pokemon. Oh my... I totally jinxed it at the beginning of the episode by hyping up the new squad and saying we got zero deaths. But hey, there is at least one saving grace, and that's Ryo already evolving into Luxio. Da -da -dun, dun, dun. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> oh my god. We didn't even get to nickname it. Are you serious? And so Young Munch decided to train on the many unsuspecting Pokemon of Route, or whatever route we're on. It wasn't easy at first, but eventually Ryo grew into his own, like the Lion King he is destined to be. And eventually we've learned the Volt Switch, which is nice. But like any sane person, you eventually get bored of the mashing the A button. And for me, that limit was hit when I saw him. Is this our final test right here? Has Ryo grown up into the Lion King that he needs to be? Oh my god, Hyper Fang, that does half your- Oh my god, that does more than half actually. Okay, I'm out of here. Gotta have Boogie finish the job for us. Get all these gumshoes on out of here. Make Alola great again. As we hit the level 28, and Boogie's also gonna hit 32, which is definitely the level cap for the next gym, so I guess we're done with our training. What the frick, it took so long to train that now it's actually gotten dark out here, that's interesting. Well, we're heading back into the cave anyway, and hopefully gonna make it to the next gym. Oh, I forgot that uh, repels are a thing, hello. Ah, it's 6pm, that's why the time changed, okay. Well, uh, I'm just gonna ignore not any trainers because we already fought that guy before and there's a fighting dude, which I guess I am gonna ignore. I don't wanna ignore the trainers though. I feel like there's more items to get, but at the same time, we already hit the level cap. So I feel like it's a bit of wasted experience, at least on the Pokemon that are already 32. And of course, you've got an Onyx, dude. First battle for Ryo is gonna be something that he definitely should not handle. I just really wonder what type the next gym is going to be, because that would help a lot with our training. You might notice I also don't have a 6 Pokemon right now, because I kind of forgot to grab one. I probably should have, and all that training I did with Ryo would have been at least a little bit of experience going to the other one, but... Okay, we got an Aeron. Maybe we can handle this? Or we can at least try out our new Volt Switch! Look at that animation! That's a move that's never been in... Oh my god. Okay, I got scared for a second that maybe the game glitched because like it just cut to black but no that's actually how the animation for oh my god why did i send in kimba out of all the pokemon i could have sent in why did i send in kimba at least he survives and we don't miss the incinerate that would have been really tragic but seriously i don't know what i'm doing dude like this guy's got another rock type too so this is not good well it's fine actually because banana can definitely handle it and almost level 32 for you. Just a little further. I hope so, man. I'm ready to get the heck out of here. Oh, got a scientist. Hey, we managed to sneak past him. 
I keep passing up a bunch of items, but I don't think I could even get them anyway because they seem to be like rock climb spots or rock smash and we don't got none of that. So let's just head on out of here as the rappel runs out just on time because we have reached Route 8. Are you serious? There's still more? Hi there! If you can beat me, I'll heal your po Oh my god, of course. Can't just get healed nowadays, huh? It's never that simple. That's okay. At least we know that it's not going to have anything super effective or anything that really even hurts at all. Going for Electro Ball. Oh, and there's Hail going on to top it off. Isn't that just lovely? And this lady's also got a Chansey, which is great because these tend to give a lot of experience, especially to Ryo there hitting level 29. Can we get 1 XP for Boogie? Yeah, you love to see that. Uh, Kimba 32, Banana 32, so both of those hitting the cap. And we get Leaf Blade, hell yeah, dude. I mean, I don't think Banana has a better physical than special attack, but I should definitely still do more damage than Leaf Tornado, so don't mind if I do. Now, tell me that Banana also evolves. That would be like the most amazing cherry on top. Okay, of course not. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but still. All set, stay safe in the blizzard. I'll try my best. <laughs> I think Luxio might actually evolve at level 30, so I should probably just grind like one more level on it before we head any further. I mean, it looks like there's going to be more trainers coming up anyway, so maybe we don't need to train it. Oh yeah, we definitely got some Mo battling in the snow. Gets me going. Going like how? Because normally it's like totally the opposite. The cold would like, you know, cool your body down and therefore you're less active, but I don't know. I suppose everyone's different. It's my training method, right? Yeah, definitely. Consider training up in like a volcano. That's a much more effective strategy. <laughs> anyway, uh, wait, don't we get to, oh, a Moonstone. I think I already had one of those, but hey, we can evolve Popo. And we also get a new Pokemon right here in this very route. It is gonna be Snover, who we just took down with that one trainer. Okay. We already have a grass type, which is why I'm a little disappointed. Like, it could have been any other ice Pokemon that's not also grass, but at least Snover has a Mega Evolution, so that could be good. Heal Ball, Nest Ball, and Net Ball. I don't think a Nest Ball is gonna work out, but we might as well try. Oh, that's the one with the hearts. I thought it was a Love Ball. Isn't that a thing? Okay. Please tell me we have some better luck with the heal ball, because I'm running out of balls here. All I've got left is a net. Nothing but net, right? I think this ball only works on, like, water types, so yeah, there's no chance. Oh my god, we're gonna miss out on our encounter for this route because I'm too dumb to buy Pokeballs. You know, at least I'll take the experience after getting pelted by an ice shard. Man, I should have just weakened it more before I threw the heal ball. I don't know why I didn't. We barely don't hit level 30. I feel like maybe I should just train a little more, but there might still be more trainers. I'm not really sure. Uh, what I am sure of is there's a cut tree here that leads to nothing? What? That is really weird. I've like never seen a cut tree just lead to nothing like that. Uh, let's see what else we could have gotten here in this route. Oh, okay, at least it's just another snowbird. I don't want to get too disappointed by the potential Pokemon that we could have caught. I mean, I probably would have failed to catch it anyway because I didn't have the proper Pokeballs. But here we got a girl with a Metatite. Hopefully, this will be the one that gives us the experience we need to evolve. That is, if Luxio evolves at 30. I have a feeling it's 30 or 32. So we should be able to get the evolution before the cap. And speaking of, well, Popo not quite at the cap yet, but hitting level 30 himself. Uh, definitely earning that Moonstone soon. I don't know when to go for it, because I think once you evolve a Pokemon by stone... Oh god, a Hariyama. Uh, that's not good. And you go Smelling Salt. Okay, that doesn't do too much damage, right? Oh my god. Okay, that did way more than I thought it would. Uh, <laughs> and we do nothing. And the hail's still going. Oh no, Popo. I think he's fine. Okay. <laughs> Take a fake out to the face. Yeah, you don't like that, do ya? It's not very nice when someone slaps your cheeks around, is it? <laughs> I don't know why I worded it that way, but I mean, that's what I think of when I see the animation for smelling salts. I forgot that we actually got rid of our own smelling salts, so I guess it's Seismic Toss instead, because the bigger they are, the harder they fall. 
And at level 30, Ryo is evolving. Let's go. I knew I could remember some things about Pokemon. Double evolution this episode of the same Pokemon too. From a baby Shinx all the way to a majestic Luxray. And we're going to be learning Electric Terrain. Let's go. If we had more Electric types, that'd be even better. But I'll still definitely grab that over the Spark. Uh, maybe I should have kept an Electric move on him that's not Volt Switch, though. Whoops. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess there's always the move Relearner. Anyway, I think we should almost be done with this route here. Or not. This is a dead end. We got a Blue Shard. Don't think we've seen anybody that takes shards. We've seen a lot of gem traders, but no shards just yet. Uh, guess maybe over this way. We got another karate guy, but he's actually got a side quest, it seems. Hey, Max Repel! That reminds me, I should probably spray Repel, but we haven't actually run into many Pokemon, so we're fine. Did you know there's a secret martial art to avoid fall damage from moderate heights? You just go to the edge of a ledge and... Are you saying that I can just jump off the ledge? A thousand jumps! Sure! Before you start, you should do some stretches. And don't be disappointed if you take some fall damage on your first few tries. <laughs> fall damage, yeah, because that's a thing in real life too, right? Okay, uh, that guy's a little weird. This is the worst! Why is there another pig knight, bro? Oh my god, and the worst part is, like, he has fighting moves, which of course Kimba is weak to fighting, and he flame charged up now, he's gonna be faster. Is our only hope to just let it die to hail? <laughs> now that would take forever. So I'm just gonna switch to Boogie. Hope that we can take whatever it's going for. It's probably Arm Thrust that it's gonna hit five times in a row, of course. Yep, there it is. There's a one. And there's a two. And a three. Okay, thankfully that's it. My last super potion. Boogie, you better make good use of this, man, because, uh... I got no more, so we better pray that it doesn't hit five times, but of course, th this game, man, I swear, it hit four times. Man, maybe Graveler would have gotten hit four times if that last one wasn't a crit, we might have lived. I'm just gonna go Force Palm. I think a Force Palm should finish it, unless, of course, it hits five times again and gets a crit, but thankfully it doesn't, so it is gone. Oh my god, I have never been... So stressed fighting a pig knight in my life, dude. Like, why? Wait, you still have another Pokemon too? Are you serious, dude? What's it? it what, what is it? Okay, it's just my shop. Okay, we're fine. Man, oh man, I need to stock up on some items. Or we can make it to the next town. That would be great. Uh, I'm gonna very carefully make my way through here because if we happen to run into a trainer, I'm done for. And I know that the nurse is literally right down the route, but I have a feeling that we're almost out. I'm just gonna keep inching up slowly. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. There's still more trainers! That guy's like over though, right? Yeah, he's over the bridge. No! I don't want to fight anymore! Like, can we please just make it to the next route, man? It's such a waste of experience, because three of my teammates are at the level cap, and like, the other two, they're like almost there, basically. And I didn't even get a sixth Pokemon out of the PC yet, so... Please tell me you were the last trainer, Shane. Please, please, for the love of Arceus and all that is great in the world. There is another hiker, but seems like we can avoid him. Oh my god, dude! How many routes before this next gym? Like, this is insane! I don't think I've ever seen a longer sequence of routes, like one after another in any Pokemon game. Okay, there's gotta be something. And I know that I missed an item back there, but no, I'm just, I'm over it, man. I can't be wasting all this experience. We made it to Blizzard City, yes! Oh, thank goodness, you don't wanna fight. Welcome, you look tired, want a snack? Oh, I'm always down for a, what? Ice cream, I mean, I don't know if I would necessarily call that a snack. I guess it's junk food, but like, when I think of a snack, I think of something with at least a little bit of substance that's gonna help you fight the hunger, but ice cream doesn't really do that. It's more of a treat, I would say. You look exhausted. Did you climb all the way up the mountain? Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> she says apparently someone's got a gift for us. Oh, what? You can fly all the way back to Crater Town. Okay, well, that's good to know. 
If we had found any other Zygarde cubes, I would definitely do that. What? The gym leader likes flying types. I know, it's not what you'd expect from a gym up here. And also, we just lost our Graveler. Which definitely would have helped against a flying gym, but hey, at least- What? Are you gonna give me an Eviolite? You're correct. Your banana can indeed still evolve, so as promised, Eviolite! Okay, that's actually pretty good to have on, well, most of our Pokemon that aren't fully evolved yet. You been to see Alice yet? Let me tell you, she's something else. When she ain't battling, she's working on something to let people fly without machines. Now that that's something I can get behind. Haha! <laughs> Thankfully we have Luxray, so I think we might be okay. Wait, we have another rock type, Aeron, or Sheldon. I totally should have been training this dude. Then we'd at least have one more threat against the flying gym, which I'm thinking I might just save for next episode so that we can actually train up Aeron. Zeph? Yeah, it's Ivory. I've successfully set up a barrier around the city. Roger that. I'll head back down right away. Sneaky. And just in case. What the heck? Oh, there's like Pidgeot statues, dude. That's so cool. No pun intended, because it's an ice town. But uh, this is very weird that there's an ice gym, or sorry, a flying gym in an ice city, considering birds are weak to ice. Uh, yeah, there's also a lot of trainers that I skipped. So I'm gonna go back and fight those. Oh, yo! We got the final Zygarde cube! Let's go! Well, not the last one, but we got 10%. So I guess we'll end off the episode with a surprise. And that surprise is another training montage! Not just for Sheldon, but also G2 the Bronzor, I decided to bring him into the party, at least temporarily, while we grind on some unsuspecting ice types around Blizzard City. And speaking of the city, I did a little bit of exploring and managed to find a trainer that actually will teach your Pokemon Ice Punch, and that sounds quite nice to take on a flying gym. So I went ahead and taught that to Boogie. And while we're out and about, I finally remembered that you all told me in the comments to play the digging minigame a bit more, because you can actually find evolutionary stones, and indeed I found a couple of those, which we will put to use a bit later. But first, back to the training. This was actually a lot tougher than training Ryo the Luxray, because I had to rely on certain Pokemon appearing that we could hit super effectively. With a lot of patience, we eventually reached level 30, and I thought Sheldon would be evolving, but he didn't. And at this point, it was like midnight, and I was getting really tired, so... Ah, brand new day. Mm-mm-mm. I am feeling ready to lose this Nuzlocke. I, I mean, win. I've now fully stocked up on items, so let's check out the roster before we take on the Blizzard City Gym. Sheldon is at level 31 and still hasn't evolved, but I think it actually happens at 32, so we should be able to get that little bit of experience from the trainers. As you can see, I've also got G2 the Bronzor because having more resistances to flying type could never hurt. Popo, Kimba, Ryo, and Boogie all at 32. Uh, I actually left Banana in the PC because I feel like taking a grass type into a flying gym, probably not the smartest idea. But before we head in there, I've actually got a couple of items that I want to use and give to our Pokemon. First, the Eviolite onto Sheldon, making him a little bit more tanky, even though the Hearthstone might be good too to power up uh, rock type moves. Actually, I might as well give him this Protein, raise that attack stat. I almost forgot I got a Firestone, which we can now use on... No one. I could have sworn Litleo evolves by Firestone. Okay, whatever. At least we've got the Moonstone for Popo, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, because, like I said, better to have more tanky Pokemon than a little Clefairy that would probably die to a Gust or something. I would much rather have the majestic wall that is Clefable. I also found a Link Stone while playing that digging mini game, which actually evolves Pokemon that would normally evolve by trade, like Graveler. I can't believe I lost Graveler, dude. That was so stupid. At least now we've got Sheldon. We've got a new rock type to hopefully help us take down this flying gym, which I think is all the way over here. Whoa, what is up with this leaning tower looking ass Coliseum thing? 
That is probably one of the coolest designs I've ever seen for a gym. Hey, champ in the making! How are you liking the weather up here? Uh, are we actually high up right now? I feel like we're inside. Or, I guess he means the town in general. I mean, it's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. With the heat of the summer, it's nice to get away and get a little bit cool. Be careful, because there's a Tailwind in this gym. This Tailwind will increase the speed of all flying type Pokemon, so don't get cocky just because your Pokemon might have a high speed stat. Unless it's part flying type, of course. <laughs> Getting to Alice requires using the fans and holes on the ground to move between the levels. It's not too complicated, just make sure you remember where you have and haven't been before. Good luck out there, thank you, sir. As we fly off into... what the heck? What is going on here? <laughs> Kind of confused. Are we up on the rafters or whatever those are called? Oh, well, it looks like I went the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, lady. But it's okay because we need a little bit of extra experience to get Aeron to level 32 or Sheldon here and hopefully evolve. Oh, we're actually so close. And there's the Tailwind already kicking in. And there's a Nightshade coming our way, which I think always does damage based on your level. So our Eviolite. Not really going to help against that. I uh, totally should have put the hard stone instead, and then we would have one shot with the rock slide. But it's okay, we can take one more Nightshade for sure. I don't think Nightshade can ever crit. So yeah, we're okay. Sheldon takes his first dub in the gym. And it's against a fully evolved Pokemon, which I think is a good sign. But of course, this Bird Keeper's second Pokemon is Pelipper, which uh, obviously... Not gonna risk Sheldon. Oh, I <laughs> went for Protect anyway, what the frick? That reminds me, I actually need to teach Ryo the Shockwave so that we have uh, an electric move that's not Volt Switch because, you know, sometimes you don't want to switch out unless you just one-shot him, of course. Oh my god, I forgot that this was gonna happen. I was here just speeding things along, but uh, Sheldon is gonna be evolving. I got like a weird sense of deja vu and then I remembered that we literally just evolved Popo with the Moonstone. So we got a double evolution back to back. Hopefully these two Titans can help us bring down the gym leader with zero deaths. Cause we got Leiron. AKA Hoenian Rhyhorn. Has anyone ever noticed the similarity between those two? Like it's pretty crazy, especially the fact that their evolutions also kind of look similar. Well, there's no Aeron in the Rhyhorn line, but before we head on, I do want to teach that Shockwave over to Luxray. Whoa, this is such a sick little menu. You can actually see what TMs are compatible without having to boot it up. Okay, well, I don't really have any other useful TMs against flying types, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, let's just give Shockwave over to Ryo. Apparently, Popo and Sheldon can also learn that, which might not be bad to have a little bit more coverage, a little more electricity. I decided to just keep things as they are because I like the coverage of moves that we've got on Popo right now. Well, I call it coverage, but really it's just metronome that we're gonna pray works out somehow. Maybe we get like a ice or electric move with it. You never know at the end of the day. Okay, we're just back up on these weird crates and we slam on down. This does not seem very safe. Aren't there laws against this somehow? Like you're putting the gym challengers at risk. And I'm not talking about their Pokemon. Of course, the Pokemon can take all the risks that they want. But the gym trainers, you know, you want to try to keep those alive, no? I am not really a morning person, which has me a little bit worried that my mind is not awake enough for this gym challenge. But I guess we'll see when we get to the leader. Right now, though, we got Oricorio, which is kind of weird to see. I think we'd actually seen some of the other forms of it before, but uh, that one is particularly strange. Kind of sucks that everybody's at the level cap because it's a bit of a waste to fight all these trainers. I mean, to be honest, I might as well just skip any encounters that we can. Well, if there are any more that we can skip, I guess we'll see. We are treacherously trekking through these, whatever these are. I just have a bit of a fear of heights, to be honest, and I don't like being up here all that much, even though I've always wanted to go skydiving, which is kind of weird. Maybe it's like a psychological thing, like I want to conquer my fear of heights, so you got to do something that involves being really high up. I don't know. I always have dreams where I'm flying, so I've always wanted to try flying. And the closest thing, I guess, is skydiving or paragliding, but that seems a lot more dangerous, and I don't know. I'm not really that much of a risk taker, I guess. <laughs> 
But that is now the whole squad at level 32. Everybody's hit the cap. So please tell me there are no more bird keepers in our way. Ooh, so far so good. I feel like we should be getting pretty close to the leader. Like, we've been through a lot of this gym. Oh my gosh, still? Okay, well, up we go. And of course, there's still another. Looks like you're charging head on at Alice. You'll have to face me first. Yeah, whatever, dude. No one in this gym so far has really had anything too bad. And this guy's got a Starly, really? Wherever you decide to go, never be afraid to charge at full speed ahead. Let's go. And we've made it to the gym leader. But like I mentioned, Sheldon is kind of paralyzed right now. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, where am I right now? I thought this would lead us back to the entrance, okay. <laughs> Let's take on the third gym leader now as we don't crash down. Hey there, cutie. The name's Alice. Oh, hello. I found myself the gym leader of Blizzard City, riding the winds of fortune. Do you believe in luck? I mean, yeah. I don't, wow. I do believe in opportunity though. Seizing and riding the winds is how I got this far off the ground. And I'm telling you, at this height, the battles you get to see are something else. Okay, enough chit chat. Time to take off. Oh, I see. Take off like a plane. Very funny of you, lady. But let's take on the third gym leader, Alice. Which I'm not sure if that's like a pun on ice or like ice in her name being a thing because we're in an icy city. But she is going to start off with a Dodrio. Ryo's, of course, got the Intimidate, which definitely helps. Uh, the Tailwind does not, however. I think I'm going to start off with an Electric Terrain. As she actually switches out to a freaking Gliscor, of course. Well, that's uh, <laughs> not going to be great for our Electric Terrain. Uh, can't use any Electric moves against it because, of course, it is a Ground type. Which means that it's probably going to go for a Ground move. And I'm not really sure who to switch into. I mean, we do have Ice Punch on Boogie now. So maybe that's the best call. I just really hope that it doesn't, like, crit us or something with the Bulldoze in. Okay, at least it's not Magnitude. I can hit with a Magnitude 10. Uh, but that is going to drop our speed. I mean, we were probably already slower than it anyway. So I don't really care. Uh, we're going to start off with a Fake Out, though. Get that little bit of chip damage in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did I send in Boogie? I'm so stupid, dude. <gasps> but we survived with five health. Oh my. <laughs> Boogie. Oh, what the frick? How did you live, man? Oh, come on. Well, I think it's probably going to go for another Ice Punch. So I'm going to go into G2, who can definitely tank some Ice moves. I don't think he can tank a... What the frick? Why do you go knock off? Are you kidding me, dude? And that's going to get rid of our Psychic Gem, too? Oh, my God. Okay, well, I mean, what is it going to do now? Another knockoff, maybe? Another... I don't even know. I guess I'll go into Popo just because that's probably our tankiest Pokemon. I literally just need to get, like, one quick hit in on this thing. Okay, knockoff not very effective. Let's go for a Disarming Cry. And are you serious? Why? Why did you just Hyper Potion? That is so annoying, man. Alright, well, maybe I'll go for some Sing now. This is not off to a great start. This Gliscor... Honestly, Gliscor in general is one of the most terrifying Pokemon in competitive battling. At least, like, when I would play a lot of competitive Pokemon. Gliscor was always super annoying with its toxic healing. And, yeah, it's just a really good type, too. Crown and Flying. Only really weak to Ice. And, of course, we get Lucky Chan. Well, that does prevent critical hits, which might not be bad. Our Sing wars off on the second turn, though. Kind of annoying, uh, but at least we can't get crit, right? Come on, give me an Ice Beam. Metronome, please give me a Fury Swipes. Are you kidding me? Oh, I cannot believe it's coming down to us relying on Metronome right now. Like, that is probably the dumbest strategy I've ever used in any Nuzlocke. Like... We could very well use self-destruct and end up dying, but we got Boom Burst instead. Oh my gosh, why? Thankfully, I bought a lot of potions, so we can get ourselves back to almost full health. And I might as well just Disarming Cry. I do not want to risk another Metronome, man. That could end real badly. So could a critical hit right here, but uh, thankfully we don't. And Disarming Cry... We'll finally finish the Gliscor. Jeez, that 
was way too close for comfort. What's up next though? Is Dodrio coming back? Yep, there it is. I didn't really actually see any attacks that this thing has, but I'm guessing there's no bulldoze or anything really surprising. Well, I think Dodrio can have double kick, which would not be good against Sheldon. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay, we got Steel Wing instead, which is neutral, I believe. Yeah. And of course, we miss our first rock slide. That is great. Oh, but you missed too. Okay. <laughs> the scales have been balanced. It seems like the luck is both on our side and not. Uh, why are you switching again? That dude was basically dead. Why the frick would you switch? And I went for Iron Head. I totally should have just gone rock slide again. But I guess I didn't want to risk missing. Oh god. Kind of scared of this pincer, dude. I feel like it might be a mega pincer even. I'm just gonna go for protect. Kind of scout out what it might have. Brick break. Yeah, that, uh, that would not have been good. But who do we even switch into a brick break? Oh man. I think I might have to switch G2 in here and just tank the hit. Are you sure about that? I need to heal up another one of my Pokemon. So, G2, please tell me you can live this, buddy! Of course not. What a waste. Well, I guess at least now we can get Ryo in there. Maybe get up a couple of electric attacks. Not that it's actually going to help because this thing is not flying type at all. Why do you have a pincer if this is a flying type gym? Oh, what the heck? You're switching again? Into Crobat? That's not very smart. I got a shockwave coming your way. Yeah, that's kind of confusing. I feel like that should definitely be a Mega Pinsir. Maybe she's just not doing the Mega Evolution because... Okay, well, I guess I should have expected a Toxic. Uh, I went for Bolt Switch, which I think should do a little bit more damage than Shockwave at least. And finish it off with a crit. Let's go. But now Ryo is poisoned, which is not great. But at least uh, he's swapping on out of there. I think it's Dodrio actually that's still alive. So I'm going to hope that she goes for Dodrio and not Pinsir because if she goes Pinsir then oh god the only Pokemon I can really switch in is Ryo but I think it's still gonna get really hurt by the Brick Break well the Intimidate definitely helps let's see how much damage this does oh what that actually did not do nearly as much as I thought okay well I'll take the opportunity to definitely antidote up because that is a toxic poison which means it does Way more damage than... Okay, we got Bug Bite too. Okay, that's actually not that bad of damage either. So we can definitely Super Potion and just hopefully keep tanking out this Pinsir. I do have to start actually hitting it eventually though. And Ryo doesn't have anything super effective, so... I'll just go Shockwave, I guess. Oh man, I gotta pray that there's no crits either. That would really suck. Come on, give me a... Don't think Shockwave can paralyze, actually, so... Yeah, we're just gonna have to kind of stall it out, which sucks. I mean, I don't like stall, necessarily, but I also don't want to lose. We already lost G2, the Bronzor. Not really my most, uh... What? Are you seriously going for a Hyper Potion at half health? I mean, I guess I've used a lot of potions, too, so... It's only fair that she gets to use some of her own. But you know what? Since you potioned up, I'm going to take this opportunity to set up my electric terrain. And hopefully that, uh, you know, gives us a little bit of edge that we need to finish it. Oh my god, wait a minute. Oh my god, wait a minute, dude. Why did I... Okay, I thought electric terrain made us faster, but apparently not. Uh, we just... Uh, why did I even do that? Now I don't have anyone to switch in here. Oh, Jesus. Maybe it's time for Boogie, who's at 5 freaking health, but who knows? It could be that a fake out finishes it off? Of course not. Okay. And if this pincer does actually have a flying move, I'm pretty sure Boogie is just dead. Oh, it's got double hit. Uh, that is... Okay, that's actually not bad. But I don't want to risk it going for Bug Bite. I feel like Bug Bite would do way more damage than that double hit did. What are you gonna go for, buddy? Ooh, the Brick Break, there it is. Boogie takes it, and the terrain's back to normal. That literally did nothing. Like, what was the point of that electric terrain? I do not know, but we can take another Brick Break and hopefully finish it. Are you kidding me? Oh, but we get the Paralysis, let's go. 
Are we faster than it still? I don't even know. I feel like we might be, but... Oh, yes! Oh, thank goodness, dude. Pinsir is down, or the raid boss is down. I am really surprised that wasn't a Mega Pinsir, though. I feel like I've seen some other people do this playthrough, and... That was definitely a Mega Pinsir, so I am very confused. But final Pokemon will be the Dorito, which means that, uh, yeah, I'm getting the heck on out of here. <laughs> Go, Sheldon! Hopefully, it doesn't have, uh... Well, we already saw what moves this thing has. I think it's just Steel Wing, as it's only, like not very effective thing or yeah neutral let's go for the iron head and call it a wrap man that was not my proudest gym battle we went through a lot of potions but in the end we only lost one pokemon i guess amazing i thought the wins were against my back but i still lost oh man i suppose that's just how it is never mind congratulations here the wings badge is yours not just the wing, but the wings. Badge, plural. And we also get Aerial Ace! Stop reminding me that I lost my Swana. Dude, Swana would have been so much more helpful in that gym against Pinsir and against Gliscor. I mean, Graveler actually wouldn't have been the best. Because, yeah, that Pinsir had Brick Break. And then there was the Gliscor with Bulldoze. So, even though we ended up losing Graveler, I mean, Sheldon... Definitely stepped up, sort of, uh, still a lot of the, what the heck? I forgot to show you something. Please come with me to the expressway. Oh no. For some reason, the entrance is frozen over. As gym leader, it's my job to take care of it. Watch how I can use the move Rock Smash to break the ice. That's not the only ice you were breaking. I heard you earlier calling me a cutie. Just face a cracked face and, uh, okay. My brain is done for today even though i'm literally recording this like first thing in the morning on a totally different day than the rest of the episode but that's enough nuzlocke for me right now dude <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching smash that like button if you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next episode <laughs>